Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and I've got a lot of requests of people asking me what I personally think of Windows Cloud. Would a cloud operating system be a good thing, a bad thing? What do I think? Well, I think there's advantages that is undeniable. Uh, the fact that you have access to a Windows environment that you never have to worry about updates, never have to worry about, you know, the fact that it it might be out of date, the antivirus might have this or this, whatever, would is, is great. I mean, uh, the fact that every time you go back to it, you have your stuff, but it's not, you know, it's like a reset version, which means it's much safer if you did something wrong and that there would be a possibility of something. Well, every time you go back, it's not the exact same session. It's the same user, the same programs, the same things in a refreshed environment, a little bit like the sandbox if you want. Um, in Windows Sandbox, you can actually, you know, you have a reset environment every time. It's like installing Windows fresh. So in um, if you have a good um, internet connection, because that would be the key. The key is to have an internet connection that is fast, reliable, works all the time. And that, of course, can be for some a problem. But if you do have that capability and that it works fine, um, you know, you would have a fast, zippy Windows environment that works on everything you own almost. Um, you know, you have a tablet, you have an Android tablet, you have Windows, and you'd be able to work with Windows. You could get a wireless keyboard and it'd be like a PC. Um, so it doesn't, you know, bog you down to a specific, buying a specific PC and, and you know, installing the OS or having the OS installed for you or so on. You would always have the latest version um, of that Windows operating system. So undeniably, there's an advantage. Uh, undeniably, you also, you know, no risk of your hard drive, hard drive failure. It's in the cloud. The things you have, the things you have stored, um, they're redundant. So in the cloud, if something happens, there are copies of everything. So that's why we pretty much never lose our OneDrive or uh, Google Drive and so on, because the way it's stored, it's stored to be um, accessible and and retrievable if something bad would happen in the cloud version of anything. It would, of course, like I said, not require very powerful devices. You wouldn't have to spend a thousand dollars on a PC anymore. You wouldn't have to spend, you know, I, I, even because we talk about cloud gaming. Cloud gaming has that also, meaning that when you actually use cloud gaming. Um, you don't need to have a, you know, PC with really, really powerful hardware and GPUs and so on. You don't have to worry about that anymore. It's all streamed. All you need is a device that has a minimum of performance and is just capable of having a good internet service. So all of that definitely is a positive thing. On the other side, um, you know, I see also this comment coming quite a lot. I prefer having my own Windows and my own stuff in my own PC. And it's a genuine and, and you know, it's it's um, something that I totally understand. Uh, yeah, yeah, depending on what you do, it, you might want to have your stuff. And, of course, it's not something that works well if you're not connected. So if you have to work on the go and don't have internet connectivity all the time, yeah, of course, that's not a good alternative at all. Um, you know, some people are worried about the snooping or worried about, because, uh, you know, there's a lot of that going on where people are kind of a little um, weary of Microsoft, not sure if they can trust. And by having the stuff on your PC rather than in the cloud and having a Windows in the cloud, you know, there's kind of a, a thing where you're you're in your own little world and you know um, kind of feel safer. I don't think it will be for everybody. I don't think it will ever be for everyone. But I think that eventually there will be more people on cloud windows. Yes, there definitely there will be an advantage that some people will just find 
nice to have. But we have to fix one thing, and somebody had mentioned that, you know, he enjoyed the fact that I mentioned it, and I will mention it again. There's a lot of places where the Internet is rather crappy. And, and for people that, that are in that situation, this is a no-go. Windows Cloud is, is not something that will work. Uh, but, you know, there's positive and there's negatives to it. And um, I think that the future will have some people in the cloud version of Windows. But I think we're going to have a desktop downloadable or installable version of Windows for a long, long time to come. I think within the next 10 years, we're still going to have in 2030 a Windows version on, you know, your own local PC if you want to. Uh, we're not there yet for everyone, that's for sure. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.